Many years ago, I had a part-time job teaching English classes to high school students who were preparing to take the SAT exam. And about 25 years later, I decided to go back to teaching those classes. But I found that the company that provided the courses now expected the teachers to teach both the English and the math part of the exam. And the math consisted mostly of uh, algebra and geometry. Well, algebra and geometry and I had our little affair when I was in high school, and it didn't go well. I was a, an indifferent student. And when I was baffled by all the X's and Y's and uh, isosceles triangles, I blamed the teachers and did only what I had to do in order to get through. So when I heard that I would be expected to teach math, my first instinct was to give it up. But for some reason, I decided to go to Barnes & Noble and buy a self-teaching book on algebra and geometry and just to see what I was up against. As I worked through the first few chapters and did the exercises, I discovered that this wasn't so hard after all. It was all logical. It all made sense. It all worked. Right about that time, I was offered a job that I really couldn't turn down, so I never found out how far I could go with uh, algebra and geometry. But it was already clear to me that the subject matter hadn't changed since I was in high school. And other kids who had the same teachers I had scored A's and B's in those classes. So the problem had to be with me that I didn't pay attention, that I wasn't serious, that I hadn't really tried. Well, I got to thinking about that when I was reading the gospel passage for this weekend's Mass. In particular, the parable of the sower and the seed that would not bear fruit unless it fell on good soil. Jesus explains in this passage that the seed represents the word of God and that some who hear it just never grasp it. Some accept it superficially, but never make it a part of their lives. Some hear it, but are more attracted to material gain. And some understand it, absorb it, and put it into practice in everyday life. We heard Jesus say in the gospel passage last week, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. But however easy and light his teaching may be, it still requires a commitment on the part of anyone who wants to be his disciple. My experience with math was different the second time around because I wasn't trying to just memorize rules and procedures so that I could then forget about them. In a sense, I had become good soil. I was determined to understand what algebra and geometry meant and how they related to the physical universe that we interact with every day. Being a disciple of Jesus, a doer, of the Word of God takes more than remembering what Jesus taught and accepting it as a kind of pleasant uh, philosophy of life. It means more than understanding that Jesus calls us to generosity and mercy and justice, but leaving those ideals as uh, qualities that we could admire in somebody else. It means grappling with what he is asking of us and measuring everything we do by how well it meets that challenge. It means listening to the word of God, particularly as we receive it in the gospel of Jesus Christ, and then living it every day.